right, so we haven't done the... We, you saw the two winners from the Alloy Pellets against the Ballistic Shell. You know, we haven't done the winners from the Hollow Point Pellets, but I know I didn't put that information out yet as to who won. Just let you know right now. Uh, it was the uh, the Gamo uh, Rocket, obviously, won the penetration test. But for damage, it was a tie between the uh, Crossman Destroyer and the RWS Super H Point. So I'm going to shoot those two at uh, the ballistic shell so we see which way, which gets the best expansion i'm going to use the uh benjamin steel eagle jim shockey series to uh, illustrate this since you get better expansion at a, high, at a higher velocity so enjoy Look at that. Here is that RWS Super H point. Damage very decent. And that's about five millimeters into the target where you see that permanent cavity really take hold. Nice straight line. Some little fragmentation there. And there's the main body with some bits of lead. You see mostly that most of that cuff is still attached to that pellet right there. See if I can focus in on it. This isn't, then it stops focusing. There we go. You see right there that cuff is most still attached to it, most of it, anyways. Piece of it's right there. And over here, that damage is definitely different. Uh, same uh, as the RWS, about five millimeters, and this is more like four millimeters into it. You see the permanent cavity take hold but it extends further that permanent damage the rws only did that that uh, cavity right there uh, the rest of it's pretty minute straight line until you get that fragmentation right here you still get a big permanent cavity going through and that's about three inches into the target that's halfway into this block uh, then it starts to peer down it actually goes down it doesn't it doesn't go in that straight line ends up right there about five millimeters into the block right here this one the rws went about 15 millimeters in comparison to this to the you know uh, the destroyer the destroyer though left all of its cuff right up here just demolished and look you, you there's a better part of that cavity right there you can see it now granted that uh, RDUS did, it does have a little bit of a permanent cavity right there beyond that point you can see some feathering but it's not as distinguished as the destroyer not by a long shot a destroyer is definitely one out in regards to damage uh, the RWS slightly beat the destroyer and penetration but that's the trade-off you get uh, when you want more penetration you get a little less damage when you want more damage you get a little less penetration uh, and that's that's always been the nature of the beast with the hollow point pellets uh, I'm gonna turn this block around and I'm gonna shoot it with the other with the third place Runner up versus the first place. <laughs> Look at that. Beautiful. Ah, uh, definitely very minor penetration, but the damage is just amazing. The, the way this thing just turns into a donut, a lead nut, and just carves that hole, that damage leaves behind. Can't wait to see the slow-mo footage in that. That damage leaves behind is just amazing. Uh, that's the Gamma Red Fire. Over here, you have the Gamma Rocket, the 
leader in penetration. He's against hard targets. You see right here. I don't know if it collided with that pellet with the. Uh, it looks like it might have collided with that uh, RWS right there. It's a possibility. Uh, let's see. No, it definitely collided with the RWS. Uh, so that that might have to be get reshot. You can see the skirt right there let me see if there's a difference in penetration for nope yep there's a skirt there's the bb i don't know who i think this is the skirt from the the gamo rocket and nope they did not collide they just missed each other but that Gamma rocket did ride. It did ride the uh, stream, that wound cavity left by the initial shot with that. Uh, let me get a better view of it. The RWS it wound up exactly in there, which is probably what caused it to tumble. Uh, there's the hollow point cuff of that gamma rocket. There's the BB. And this is why I've added this pellet. This is the definite proof This is this, that it is a hollow point pellet right here. You have the characteristics of a, the ballistic characteristics of a hollow point pellet, which is a mushrooming of the cuff which is the the bit of the, the letter up front you can see with that rim is definitely from the head it is not the tail fin right there you have that mushrooming peeling back and separation of that steel BB right there in the front you can actually feel it it's not really that far in there it's about three millimeters into it uh, looks like it's free floating <laughs> Uh, but you also have that that in, that impressive penetration we gave it that first place spot, uh, and part of that is due to the it riding that wound cavity from that RWS. But still, very impressive. And yeah, there's a core, and there's what appears to be some more lead that might be from the skirt or it might be the actual head the either way the head peeled back the hollow point cuff peeled back and either this was the skirt or it was the head and that was either part of the head or part of the skirt but most of the skirt still intact right here so I'm guessing that was part of the head I mean that was part of the skirt and this is the head right here that's the head that's the cuff that held that BB in place <clears throat> and uh, that separation caused it to create its own wound cavity it split in three uh, so you don't see much of it right here because that's where they barely ended up in but right here you see you can you can't you can't see him that well but there's definitely a line right there where that BB separated, that steel BB. And up closer, you see it. Uh, that's where the head mushroomed out right there and, set and, and split off from the main body of that pellet. Right there, you see that, that permanent wound cavity right there, just beyond there. So this is great, this is a great hunting pellet the Gamma Rocket. Uh, so is that <laughs> Gamma Redfire. It's great front, front damage. I mean, that the only one that, that, that I can compare it to when it comes to upfront damage, that Gamma Rocket being so like, ah, uh, all right there, would be that Crossman Destroyer. Uh, they both have similar characteristics when it comes to build. 
both hollow point pellets. They both have, have a pointed core at, in the middle of it. But this this one, this pointed core is not part of the pellet. This is a polymer core, whereas the Gamma Rocket, I mean, they got the Crossman Power, uh, the Crossman Destroyer, that core is a part of the actual pellet is attached to it, it's just molded that way uh, this one is the course put in place at that point of core it's a uh, place there it's not molded into place uh, so yeah that is I think you, I could actually see down this thing Yep, you can see the red tip down in there. It just cut out a nice hole, just a solid donut. That is not like a, there's no feathering, it's just a solid tube of damage. Uh, that would definitely cause a critter to bleed out really badly. When it's just, it's like an, a vein or artery leading out to the uh, exterior of the creature. It would just destroy it. Uh, not good for penetration obviously barely made it halfway into this block right here and this box is a little over six inches so it just made it beyond the three inch mark the uh, pellet itself but impressive nonetheless just amazing uh, I had fun doing this I hope you had fun watching this uh, can't wait to see the slow-mo footage and uh, please like and subscribe if you want to see more of this uh, it really helps out and uh, share this video too. You said, um... Sideways, go gang some.